I, I have a mini album to show you and it is it is a good size mini album I also just um, designed the pages and this paper year in review is a ruby rocket paper that is very limited I do have access to a couple of of these collections if anyone's interested at my store at Country Craft Creations in Hooper but like I said it's very very limited the paper comes out of Australia so it's not one that I carry because it is hard to get but I fell in love with the gray scale year in review papers and I started working with it and I realized it's not easy to work with gray scale after a while it's almost worse than black and white at least black and white you can put everything with but I had a thought in mind I really wanted to use the new Bull Bunny collection. I have, let me show you this, some of the sticker sheets. This is their new garden journal. And so I really wanted to add it to this gray paper because there's a lot of gray scales. I don't know if you can see in this new garden journal collection. So I thought it's going to look great. Um, this is more of a journal type year in review. It doesn't really focus on the colors of the holidays so you'll see that as we go but it is I, I think it turned out really pretty it's very different from what I do so I am prepared for all and any comments um, it is very different so the cover measures seven it's seven inches wide by nine inches long there will be a tutorial that can be purchased on these pages that was the other thing I wanted an album where when you come to the page and you have your side pull out tabs you only have one and that's only good for one usually side of the page and so this is a double sided pull out tab book and um, it has a lot of room the spine measures three and a half so it's a good size because there's half inch gussets and there's our back now for the closure I did use one of the knobs from that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and then I just did the ribbon closure which all you have to do is if, when the book expands it will expand and you just push down to let it off so it's a nice little closure and let me get started now everything in the book you couldn't I couldn't do much embellishments because of the the thickness of it already and how thick these pages are thick and heavy so for my front cover from the garden journal I, I loved this little lined page that is in there so I wanted to I left it plain there's just no more room you'll see so you can start out the year writing and again this is a good time of the year to get started on these because we always want them as Christmas gifts and then it's too late to make them so for January you'll see we have the grayscale and then I brought in the pots of color with the garden uh, journal from Bow Bunny and I made the page similar to my time to flourish I loved the fact that the, the tags will hold it shut and so we have these from the cutout collections first beginning Monday Tuesday it goes through the weeks then we have a flap that opens and I did another one of the cutouts from so I have the two different collections so from the Robbie Ruby rocket collection just back to moon white and then there's a bunch more of the cutouts that come for the month so and every month is different what's nice is it's very different every month it's not the same size not the same tags then you have the feathers and with the gray and so like I said this is different and I know it's different um, totally different look than what I usually do but there's our flap now as I was talking about we have the side pullouts now these I only cut them out I'm not finished with them because I just really don't know what I want to do with them so right now I'm just going to take out one and show you so this is the tag that is for January so you have a tag for January and it has its own pocket I'm just going to set that aside then when we turn the page we have February and February has its own tag so it is a double pocket pullout that I, I made and constructed so that each month you will have more room so you don't have to try and fit January and February on just one tag. You will have it. Each page will have their own tag. So for February, um, now the pages are the same. So the front will have this. The in this side using the 
um, punch envelope punch board and I'll show that in the tutorial then we did I did use a magnet on this side this is the side that I did use the magnet because I wanted it to look like the file folder so for February we pulled down and that's just one of the cut aparts the story and then I made just the pocket here for a couple of the others and this was the only month that it did like a calendar so like I said it's very different paper very unique um, you really won't find this in the United States. I do, like I said, have a few left, so if you want to message me on Facebook at Country Craft Creations, I can let you know about the collections I have. Oh, and that was the front. Oh, it comes with this cover sheet, too, so that you, it's a 12 by 12, the paper. I forgot to tell you about the cover. So, this is the cover sheet that you do get, which makes a nice, um, opening to your book. So here we are in March. Again, I just did a few of the flowers for the pops of color. See, like I mentioned, the cutouts are quite different. Now on this one, did a little pocket with the days of the week. I inked according to the color of the, the most prominent color in the paper. So this one was inked with blue. Lots of room for pictures, notes, notes on the back so you can do really a lot with this book and it's like I said more of a diary so now you can see we have the two tabs one goes to the front page one goes to the back page so these are let me turn this like these are nice thick heavy pages um, half inch gussets because you needed the room and as you can see you you don't have a lot of room to embellish so I just put the little pops of color a key from graphic 45 and um, I used some of the a couple of the cutouts from the Bow Bunny line and some more of the cutouts. Like I said, in some months there just weren't as many cut aparts, but you can mix and match them. So it, it's a really nice, it's a fun line. And I am going to do another album, and I'm going to do it all in the black and yellow and gray scales. And so on this one, I use the coordinating garden on there and it just pops up like this plus he cut one of the birds from the bobani line to hold one of the little cutouts and I just added this extra one because May didn't come with a lot of cutouts they were very large pieces for some reason so you can also add your own of course and you can see how those just they hold that page down nice and secure so a lot of times when we're scrapbooking if we start using tons of magnets and de different things like that it gets expensive and I wanted to I knew this was a big album I wanted to make sure it could be made and costs were kept basically in check um, here's June and you can see I used some of the paper from the Bow Bunny just to give it the color belly band with a stopper and then two of the tags you just fit down inside and here's July so you can see where this would make a really nice ladies journal and then it has a lot of embellishments that remind me of you know England so you can definitely see it's not a US paper again from the Bow Bunny line just a little bit of cut out for there and July didn't come with a lot of tags very interesting line but it was fun and here we go with August and that's just a little bird cage that I had and I made August since it was so large just as a ticket reminded me kind of going back to school and uh, library card maybe put that in there and again this had a lot of the huge cutouts so I just cut these off of the paper made the pocket everything's blank on the back and you can see in the background it does say New South Wales so it's really fun actually it's a lot of fun this paper you can do a lot of different colors with it And here we go with September. 
lot of room. These are four by six. So you have a lot of room. Now that I just um, adhered on the three sides. So these tags are much too large. That way the recipient can just add their own pictures. And lots of room for more pictures. Uh, this gray is actually from the Bow Bunny. It was the back side of this very colorful, colorful paper. And here's October with the feathers, the feather paper, and it just comes down. So you have plenty of room for pictures, lots of mementos, and again, some of the tags. And then just the pocket with the bow bunny to add the color. And you will have to use the large magnets to hold the flap down. The small ones just wasn't doing it. And here's our, uh, November. I really, really like, I really liked November. Again, a moment in time. And these were some cutouts from this paper line. So I just cut them out, made the little pocket. And you do get a few of the just solid sheets so that you can use them also for, for your pages. And when I got to December, it was a little hard because I, when you do a December page, you just think December, you need to have Christmas, but that wasn't the case, but it is cute. It says no peeking, folds down. So I went ahead and added some of the blue to match the fact that I was using a garden paper for December. And these were fun. That one says, you know, the 31st of November or December, New Year's Eve. And just very, very different paper, very fun, very unique. Um, this will be a very unique gift for someone. And the back, again, is the Bow Bunny, one of their journaling sheets. I, I liked it. You can do a lot of journaling, keepsaking on there, pictures. And then the, the ribbon just comes through. I did a hole with my crop dial, knotted it, and so it will close right up like that. And I, on the cover, chose the, the blue and the yellow. So that is my year in review. And if you are interested in this paper line, you'll have to get a hold of me on Facebook at Country Craft Creations in Hooper because it's very limited, very, sorry, I've got glue, um, just not available. And you're not going to really find it too many places in the United States. And the tutorial for the album will be ready in about a week. I'm still finishing that up because I was making it as I went. And don't hesitate to leave me comments, good or bad, so that I can kind of, I know this is different, and so I was really unsure about it. And I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.